Today was the big Senate hearing for President Trump's Supreme Court nominee, Brett Kavanaugh, and his accuser, Dr. Christine Blasey Ford. Trump said he was clearing his schedule to watch on TV, then realized his schedule already said, watch TV all day. And he go. <laughs> not good. Judge Kavanaugh has been accused of sexual misconduct by several women, and many Republicans are still defending him. Americans were like, here's an idea. Just pick a different judge. <laughs> There's thousands of judges. Anyone. What is Judge Judy up to? Let's get Judge Judy in there. She was also ready to respond to all of those people who asked, how can you even remember something that happened 35 years ago? The same way that I'm sure that I'm talking to you right now is uh, just basic memory functions. Also, just the level of norepinephrine and epinephrine in the brain that sort of, as you know, encodes, that neurotransmitter encodes memories into the hippocampus. And so the trauma-related experience then is kind of locked there, whereas other details kind of drift. Oh, snap! Asking how the lady can trust her brain. Turns out she's a brain scientist. <laughs> yeah, those senators were probably like, oh yes, we're also familiar with the, the hippopotamus. Uh, yeah, but <laughs> we also know that. All right, let's move on. Let's move on. I don't know if he's got something going on in his life, but he seemed really angry. This confirmation process has become a national disgrace. The behavior of several of the Democratic members of this committee at my hearing a few weeks ago was an embarrassment. I wanted a hearing as soon as possible to clear my name. I demanded a hearing. That's right, I demanded a hearing. You didn't give it to me. I demanded it. Anyway, if you'll put me on the court now, I'm prepared to put my emotions aside and rule fairly and soberly. Yeah, I think we can all agree I know how to handle my emotions. Yes, yes. And whether or not he's guilty of sexual assault, one thing we know for sure is that Brett Kavanaugh is the world's worst celebrity spokesperson for beer. I drank beer with my friends. Sometimes I had too many beers. I liked beer. I still like beer. I did not drink beer to the point of blacking out. You drank beer. I liked beer. Still like beer. You ever play quarters? <laughs> okay, uh, Brett says here on your resume, you're a Yale grad, very impressive. Finished at the top of your class, and you have multiple sexual assault allegations against you. I'm sorry, but you're just not Arby's material, okay? <laughs> Try the Supreme Court. But despite all this, he never lost his sunny disposition. I am an optimistic guy. I'm an optimistic guy. I see the bright side. The glass is half full. My smile is my umbrella. <laughs> Believe it or not, he got a little less optimistic. Today, I have to say, that I fear for the future. Hashtag me too. 